Do not take it in your hand. Add with all your children. This song means I will not cry if I have my own hands. I will not cry if I have my own brain. This song gave me power to move forward when I was thrown out of the house by my husband. I had no money, no job, no education. I had three unanswered questions. Where shall I go with these children? Who shall help me to take care of these children? Growing up, I was a curious child. I wanted to go to school like other children, but my parents had no money. At the age of seven, my teacher sent me home because I had no money to pay school fees. At home, I was alone. A neighbor friend came and he raped me. From that day onwards, I always remember that school, school is not only a place of learning, but also a place of refuge. For my parents to send us to school, he misused the company money and he was put in jail for one year. My mother, because she was depending on my father, she was sick and her relatives came and took her away from us. By that time, I started to be a mother at the age of 12. We were forced to move from this street to another street, begging for food, or sometimes picking from the waste bin. Finally, my auntie came. She took us to a farm. At that farm, the owner of the farm was generous. He gave us two options, either to work for little salary or to work for bad education. I choose education. Time was running faster. I got married to a principal of a school. I thought I brought all the education in my house. We were blessed with two children. My brother died and I was the one who was in custody of four children. So my husband was not happy for me to turn his house into a social warfare. He threw us out from the house. That is when I started my journey as a single mother. I had no soap to wash our clothes or even to wash our blankets. My children and I developed ringworms and skin disease. Everyone was sorry on us because they thought that we were mad. That time, that is when my children were stopped from going to school. Finally, a day I will never forget came. All my children got scholarship. Within a week, I also got a job. 
I was very happy because this job gave me an opportunity to work with women. I managed to interview 1,000 women. And from those women, I noticed that women are living in abusive relationships. They are living with violent men. Guess what? For the children, they want their children to go to school. Since I was a lorry driver, I started to teach them how to drive lorries because I noticed the need of empowering a woman. Women need to be empowered. I was teaching them economic projects. Then later, I asked them to go and look for jobs. They were not going to look for jobs. Do you know why? Their children were at home. They were not going to school. In Zimbabwe, education is not free. It's very expensive. Families from poor background, they are not able to send their children to school. Before you enroll at our government schools, you need to buy school uniform, complete uniform, pay for your transportation, pay for you to, to even to submit the birth certificate of which these parents did know nothing. Again, our schools, the teachers are not qualified to teach children with disability. I felt sorry for my dear women. I asked them, them to bring all the children to me. I was surprised one morning, 500 students were standing in front of my office. Then I noticed the need of free education to the students in Zimbabwe. From that time, that is when Tamira Nashe Trust was born. We kicked men out of the beer hall. <laughs> and we converted that beer hall into a school. See what we did. This place was once a beer hall, but it has been converted into a primary school. Although it is unregistered, enrollment currently stands at 962 students. Abandoned by council in 2004, Ngoni Beer Hall was reopened as a women's center in May last year to equip underprivileged women with life skills. An even greater need arose after it emerged the women's children were not going to school. While improvised schools are frowned upon in this day and age, some children at Tamira Nashe only began school as late as nine years old, making the school an oasis in the desert. This video you are seeing today is for 2016. To date, our enrollment is 1,826 students. Now, this, the news of our school offering free education spread like wildfire. We faced a lot of challenges from the politicians, drunkards, and our other fellow uh, private schools owners. But we were unstoppable. Our government gave us the right to work in four districts of Zimbabwe. Now, I, I noticed the need of a bigger school because our teachers are working from morning till sunset for a little salary. So we are planning to build a school, a bigger school and offer quality education. This is the school we are planning to build. That's our vision of building this school. This school will be built like our Zimbabwe house. Zimbabwe means house of stones. We are going to build it with stones, mud, and grass. At Tamira Nashe School, we see children who are focusing on problem solving, turning little resources into impactful action. 
apart from their regular subjects, we are going to teach them fish farming, beekeeping, animal husbandry, and vegetable farming. As a mother and founder of Tamira Nashe Trust, I envision a world where the underprivileged children are given equal access and opportunities to education, leaving no one behind without discrimination. Oh, sorry. Uh, before I end, allow me to tell you that the men who kicked me out of the house is now employed at my school as a teacher. Thank you.